Somaliland, once a British colony separated from Somalia in 1991 after a devastating civil war against the Siad Barre regime. Other than Somalia, Somaliland has had stable democratic governments, enjoys peace and security and a steady economic development. Not recognized by the United Nations or any other country, it remains a very poor nation. Hard hit by the effects of climate change, like the entire region at the Horn of Africa. Worst effects are increasing droughts and the resulting degradation of vegetation. As 70% of Somaliland's exports are live animals, climate change has had severe effects on the overall economy and on the livelihoods of pastoralists. A new threat to the survival and livelihoods of Somalilanders is an invasive tree. And well naturalized, the problem that we have is Prosopis has taken over of this great farmland. Prosopis, stemming from Latin America, imported by well-meaning foresters to stabilize land. First introduced in the 1960s, it is spreading like wildfire and now covers about 6,000 square kilometers. That's almost seven times the area of Berlin. The United Nations call it the most dangerous tree in the world. With its aggressive root system, it occupies places that were cleared from valuable fodder trees for charcoal production. Its bitter leaves are not eaten by animals. Villagers that face the threat are unable to deal with it. They lack the knowledge, tools and machines to harvest and use the tree. And, worst of all, they have lost hope to win the fight against Prosopis. We are estimating about 8 million metric tons of Prosopis biomass in Somaliland alone. This may be hundreds of millions of metric tons across the tropical world, mostly unutilized, mostly unwanted. In many other countries, there's a well-established industry to make use of Prosopis. Especially in the Americas, Prosopis, known there as Mesquite, is a multi-million dollar business for charcoal, hardwood floors and furniture. If properly milled, its pots are an excellent animal feed and a thousand seeds of Prosopis are taken out of circulation for every kilogram of fodder meal. Twigs and leaves, if shredded, can provide rich biofertilizer and the larger diameters, higher value charcoal. All this means a new source of income for the most disadvantaged villages and help safeguarding their pasture and fields. Lando <laughs> Prosopis is the first and only Somaliland company to strive making every part of this tree a marketable product. For better links to villages to start a social business, Lando Prosopis asked Welthungerhilfe for support. For Welthungerhilfe, a German NGO working in Somaliland fighting against poverty and hunger, the control and utilization of Prosopis is high on the agenda. It became obvious that this can only succeed if an innovative business partner develops the markets for Prosopis products made at village level. First aiming at local and regional markets, but then soon going national or even international. The partnership is now a year old and has had tangible success. But for scaling up this ecological and social business, private investment is needed for Lander Prosopis. In the end, it is needed for all the villages that Welthungerhilfe wants to support in their development. Lander Prosopis, supported by Welthungerhilfe, has already trained 300 persons in 10 villages how to best prune Prosopis bushes to harvest pods, twigs and branches. Some small-scale machinery, three mills and three shredders were purchased from nearby Ethiopia and groups of villagers trained to operate the diesel-powered machines. Feeding tests and demonstrations were conducted with success. Even during the worst drought, milk yield and weight gain of test animals improved significantly. With UN support, an efficient charcoal production will be started soon. In order to be able to supply larger dairy units and animal export fattening stations, and in order for a much larger group of villages to store feed for the worst times of drought, larger and more efficient machines and special hand tools are needed to boost production and effectively reduce the spread of this tree. More training in villages 
and more marketing efforts are needed before land of Prosopis can have a tangible impact on poverty and environment. Your donation will be an investment in a better future of hundreds of villages in Somaliland.